Hey everybody, hi. This is an informational about 24 day challenge. I want to explain to you more in detail why I think you should do the 24 day challenge. So the 24 day challenge is about my journey and what I did to get to where I am. Um, if, all, if you don't know the history of me, I am a mom. I've had four children, four girls. I've had three C-sections and a set of twins. My twins, my girls are like 8, 14, 8, 12. Twins were 6, 9, 6, 5. So through this, my body changed. Um, so then after I had my twins via C-section at 37 weeks, something was still wrong with my stomach. Something was wrong. Um, it would cave in and I still looked like I was pregnant. Well, come to find out I had double hernia and a, a thing called diastasis recti, where your muscles split apart. Um, so they tore apart from having the babies. Um, I remember my dad said I would look scary with the twins in my in my stomach because I was so huge. But anyway, so through this process, I had to have surgery. During the surgery, they would not take the extra skin back off. They just sewed my muscles back together, put a mesh there. That's it. Um, so then the journey began, probably after the twins were two, that I needed to try to take care of myself because the flap on your stomach and stuff from the babies was not, um, from the C-sections, just wasn't attractive to me. And I didn't have the money to have surgery to get it to get it removed. So if you look at my page, I have a picture leaning over with my skin hanging down. And I wanted you to see that. My husband's like, really? You post that? But it's real talk. Okay, this is real, real body. This is my body. And so I had to work to get that down. So then I started eating a certain way. And that's what the 24 day challenge is about. It's about teaching you how to eat the right foods and have them taste good and cook them quick. Um, and then to be consistent with exercises. So it's not about doing cross training and doing all this stuff. It's about being consistent with what you do and taking baby steps. And there's certain exercises I would do because of the skin to strengthen and lengthen my muscles instead of crunch them. That helped me get to where I am now. And I'm in a much better place I am now than when I was in high school. You know, you might have been smaller in high school or whatever, um, but I'm more fit. My core is stronger from the exercises that I would do every night. And you have to incorporate your family, friends, or your cell phone to help you. So I tell my husband and my kids I couldn't go to sleep without doing 50 push-ups and um, three different sets of, of set, uh, core exercises. Now, this didn't happen to me overnight. It was doing it every night and taking a night off and being consistent with it. I know everyone wants a quick fix. You can't do the quick fixes. You have to learn a healthy lifestyle and stop the yo-yo dieting. And you'll just feel so much better in the process. And so that's why I started this 24-day challenge. I have a private page for you. And only the people that are doing the challenge can see the page. See the page. Um, I give you a grocery list. You get this 80-page packet that I send to you in an email. So it has the pictures of the days. And then the recipes are right after it. I also do YouTube videos that show you how to do it quick. We're all busy. I don't necessarily enjoy to cook. My husband does. I teach you how to fix it quick and it tastes good and you have the food on hand. You have a, a water app to set your phone for the water app. We all have cell phones. Every night I send you a workout to do before bed. And it's not one that you really go to sweat on. It's just teaching you consistency and getting you in that rhythm of doing something every night when your body's getting ready to be at rest and your day is done and that you do at night. That's what it's all about. Um, I'm a product of the product. I've lived it. I'm still living it. This is a consistent struggle we go through is our lifestyle. You have to learn the lifestyle in order to succeed and get your body to where you want. Like when I started my journey, it was like, okay, I'm going to eat this. And this, I'm going to do exercise. I didn't weigh myself. There's no end in sight. I just committed to doing it for two months, not weighing myself, measured myself, and then things started happening. Probably about after a month, I was like, nothing's happening. I feel good, but nothing's happening. The scale's still the same. So I stayed off the scale. Then I started noticing my clothes. And then all of a sudden, boom, things have changed. Your body's shaping differently. But the most important thing is not the number on the scale. It's how you feel. And that's what I try to get you to understand. I mean, in the process, you become a better person. But you do realize that on this journey, you're kind of by yourself. You'll always be tempted by other people to eat things that are not on the 
on the challenge. And that's why we have the private page. It's a page to help you emotionally. Because it's not really about the food. It's about getting your mind right and really wanting it for yourself. And that's all. As long as you want it, there's not nothing you can't do. And it's understanding that that you can have a bad day, but that's okay because you always have tomorrow. Because each day is a new day. And it's not, that's why there's no end in sight. You have to change your mind with, with, into a healthy lifestyle. So I just wanted to touch on that a little bit to explain it better. And I'll probably do another video. But I had a client that asked me how did I get my stomach that way. And I worked. I don't have the money to have that done. I worked. And most of my four exercises are done with weights to strengthen that. And I'm not even there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm training now for something later in the year. And it's going to be more chiseled and it'll be better. But I noticed that if I eat something wrong, not wrong, not on my plan, popcorn, whatever, then a day later where my skin is loose, that's where that weight will go. That's where we'll puff back up. And so it's just starting to learn your body. So I'm sorry. I started to learn my body at age 40 something. I'll be 49 this year. It's only going to get better. Please join us and just see. Uh, what our 24-day challenge is about. God bless everybody. Bye.